Hi guys, my name is Earl and welcome to Bia Jimenez, a channel where I will be doing flight reviews, airport lounge tours, and my personal travel diaries. For my very first trip report, we're going to be flying Cathay Pacific Airbus A330 flight CX918 in economy from Manila to Hong Kong. We're here now at Naia Terminal 3 and let's proceed to counter A and check in. The check-in process was quick and easy so I immediately went straight to immigration and security. So after security, there will be multiple signs that will lead you to the airport lounges. And once you reach the elevator lobby, just press level 4. This Cafe Pacific Business Class Lounge just reopened early this year and hopefully makapasok rin tayo soon. <laughs> right next to it is the Silver Crest Lounge by Singapore Airlines available for their first class and business class passengers. And we finally arrive at the PAGS Lounge. Once you enter the lounge, just hand over your passport, your boarding pass, and the credit card that you're gonna use to access the lounge. Do take note that you may encounter a wait list before you can finally enter the lounge due to the high volume of passengers. But of course, if you're flying business class, the lounge will prioritize your entry. The lounge itself is quite spacious, but I hope they have plans expanding it in the future to keep up with the demand. Let's have a look at the food offerings. They have nacho chips and of course, the lugao or arroz caldo, which you can customize according to your taste. They also have different finger foods, some sandwiches, pasta, and of course, the cult favorite steamed pork shomai and asado shopao. They also serve different kinds of drinks, from soda to hard liquor, fruit juices, and syempre, hindi pwedeng mawala ang coffee. And tea na rin. Now, as of November 2023, these are the credit cards that you can use to access the PAGS Lounge. You may want to pause the video and take a screenshot to check kung anong credit card yung pwede nyong gamitin to enter this lounge. It's almost our boarding time, so let's head to our gate.
Thank you. Welcome on board Cathay Pacific Airbus A330 Flight CX918 bound for Hong Kong. Yes, this one here. Yes. Economy is laid out in a 242 configuration and my seat today is 47K, a window seat on the right hand side. Let's begin with the seat features. The leg room, as you can see, is incredibly spacious. The tray table is adjustable, allowing you to move it back and forth and fold it in half. Additionally, there is a convenient shelf above it for storing a few belongings. The seat is equipped with a touchscreen TV featuring a USB port as well as a coat hook on the side. In the seat pocket, you'll find headphones and a safety card. Utilize the small pockets for storing items like your passport and other stuff. Between every two seats, there's a universal power socket. The headrest, while a bit challenging to move up and down, can be easily adjusted on the sides. Unfortunately, there are no air vents above my seat.
Shortly after takeoff, the cabin crew initiated the meal service. The package included a bottle of water, some wipes, and metal cutlery, which I appreciated. For tonight's dinner, we were served a rather average chicken adobo with tomatoes and onions on the side. Um, it was not the best, but quite enough for this very short flight. Now let's explore the in-flight entertainment. There are plenty of movies and TV shows to choose from. I particularly love the HBO section where you can watch select episodes from a random season of your favorite HBO show. There's also a K-pop category under the music section if you're into that. Now for my favorite part, the interactive flight map. The touch screen is not as responsive, but you can still play with the different modes available on the screen. Here's a look on the Cathay in-flight magazine. Now for this very quick bathroom tour, we got some hand lotion, hand gel, hand wash, napkins, a spacious toilet area, which was very clean, coat hooks, and the mirror. There was no beverage service on this flight, but the cabin crew happily obliged when I asked for a cup of coffee, which was good. I'll give it a 3 out of 5 stars. After an hour and 40 minutes, we began our descent into Hong Kong Airport. So let me conclude this journey with Cathay Pacific. Our trip today commenced at Naia Terminal 3, where check-in, immigration, and security procedures went smoothly. Boarding was efficient and I found my seat to have very spacious legroom. Although the headrest was old, it remained surprisingly comfortable. The in-flight entertainment selection was impressive, but the touchscreen was occasionally unresponsive. Dinner was promptly served immediately after takeoff, but the chicken and double meal was just average. Surprisingly, there was no beverage service on this flight. However, the cabin crew gladly fulfilled my request for a cup of coffee. All in all, it was a good short flight, and I would certainly consider choosing CX for future trips to Hong Kong. For the ticket prices, the cheapest I could find on Cathay Pacific's website is 137.8 US dollars one way or around 7,500 pesos. It already comes with one piece of 7 kilo cabin baggage and one piece check-in baggage of 25 kilos. That's it for my very first trip report and thank you so much for watching. 
I'll show you the transit process at Hong Kong International Airport, a tour of the Chase Sapphire Lounge, and a separate trip report from a connecting flight to Sydney, Australia on my next video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to hit the bell button for future updates. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.